The tear of the superior perineal retinaculum often has surgical implications and as such is right up there in terms of its significance and importance to ankle ultrasound. The SBR here in red is formed from a confluence of the perineal sheath and superficial fascia of the leg. Anteriorly it attaches to the fibula periosteum which is contiguous with the superior extensive retinaculum. Posteriorly there are variable attachments to the calcaneus and Achilles. Inversion injuries of the ankle can result in isolated tears of the superior perineal retinaculum but these injuries can also be seen in concomitant ligamentous injuries and as the SBR is the primary restraint to perineal subluxation surgical repair is often necessary for definitive treatment to identify the SBR we simply scan the perineals this hypoechoic triangular structure coming off the fibula is the superior perineal retinaculum Odin proposed the surgical classification of SBR injuries and as is the case with many surgical and MRI based classification systems direct application to ultrasound is often Often problematic and not without limitations but it's still important and beneficial to know a type 1 injury is where the SBR is stripped off the fibula forming a pouch where the perineals can sublux or dislocate into literature says this is the most common type of injury but identifying this on ultrasound would be difficult unless there was dislocation of the perineals probe pressure would naturally force the pouch to collapse and as such the injury would be easily overlooked a type 2 injury is where the superior perineal retinaculum has evolved off the fibula insertion. A type 3 injury is where there is an associated bony avulsion to go along with the SPR avulsion and a type 4 injury is where there is a tear at the posterior attachment. Here again is the normal superior perineal retinaculum at its fibula insertion. In this example we can see a tear of the superior perineal retinaculum or a type 2 injury and this was an isolated injury post inversion event. Here is an SPR tear with a bony avulsion and we can see that perineus brevis has dislocated. In this example, the SPR has been surgically repaired but has been re injured. There appears to be some suture material present and a bony anchor noted. With dynamic movement, we can see subluxation of perineus brevis. And just note how echogenic and thickened this tendon is. It is a very unhappy tendon and won't be happy until the SPR is surgically repaired. So ensure that the superior perineal retinaculum is part of your ankle protocol. Thanks for watching guys, like and subscribe for more.